Hey folks, here's a mage build I put together on a budget, because I'm typically a dex player, and I really didn't want to invest hundreds of thousands of gold into mage if I didn't like how it played. Here's a quick preview before we get into the build details. Don't let it slip away! What you're seeing here is what I would call the legacy build for Ice Gauntlet Fire Staff. I find it works really well for Arena. The burst damage of the Fire Staff is great. The CC and survivability built into your Ice Gauntlet is amazing as well. Here's a look at the Fire Staff abilities I'm using. And the Ice Gauntlet tree. For attribute points, you're going to want to make sure to have 310 points into intelligence and 160 points into con. That way, when you eat con food, you'll be at 200. It's worth noting, if you don't feel you need the extra con, it's nice to have a 40 int food on you in arena. For weapons, I'm just using the name drops, wildfire torch, and frost grasp. Well fought, blues! Here's where the budget part of this build comes in. With Mage, all you mainly need is Resilient, it's your first priority, followed by Refreshing or Refreshing Evasion. And finally, you just want a useful third perk. It doesn't have to be the relevant weapon perk, although Healing Tomb is nice. If you can get Shirking Fortification or Freedom, that's great, but it's likely very expensive to get these three perkers. So get something else that's useful. I have Invigorated and Vigor on some of my stuff, as well as Shirking Heals from the PvP track gear. For jewelry, I'm just using the Champion's gear from the PvP track. Uh, the one thing that I would say is if you can get Burning or Fire Damage on your ring, that might be nice to have as well. That was incredible! Friendly reminder to land heavy attacks on the Ice Gauntlet in order to root someone when they're in or just leaving Ice Storm. If you make it a habit of using Ice Tomb at the last possible moment, you'll tend to draw out a lot of opponents' abilities and attacks, and that'll allow your teammates to help finish them off. careful trying to use burnout around anyone who has CCL. It's very interruptible. Prepare yourselves. Before we get into how this build evolved into its final form, I wanted to take a moment to say thank you for watching. Thanks for all of the support that I've gotten over the last couple of months making content. And if you haven't already, if you like new world content. Oh, 
Strike them down! So I haven't actually used Ice Pylon since probably level 38 when I was first leveling up. I forgot how good it can be. Even in PvP situations, it's great to create pressure, it adds an extra target that the ranged enemies need to attack, and it does decent damage. The only thing I changed with the build to accommodate this is putting Pylon Burst on the weapon itself. If you end up doing this, just remember you'll need one piece of armor with unending thaw on it. It's too important not to have. The arena thirsts for blood! <laughs> Prepare yourselves! Okay, so flamethrower I've never really used. It used to be really bad not do much damage. Now it's kind of seen as a cheesy ability, and I don't disagree, it is definitely cheesy, but the fact that it works really well in Arena means people are going to use it. You can see we got three flamethrowers going here. So this is when I made the switch to include flamethrower, and especially the perk accelerated flamethrower, into one of my armor pieces. <laughs> Playing Firestaff has been a ton of fun. I really don't get where all of these calls to nerf it are coming from. Just joking, guys. If you aren't on the Reddit because you have a life, there's an ongoing joke that Firestaff should be nerfed. It's based on something that happened in a dev blog. The meme lives on. So you are mostly watching these clips in chronological order, and as I got settled into my build for rune glass gems, uh, I did start slotting full fire damage, um, and I honestly don't think it's worth it. There may be a benefit to ignited rune glass gems in your armor, but for the ice gauntlet, I definitely would not put the ruby gem in anymore, and I would go back to rocking malachite. Uh, I think it does more damage overall. Some people prefer opal as well, I think that's a good option. As far as heart rune gems go, the cannon blast is still pretty well garbage, so stone form or vines are your two go-tos. Ah! 
Honorable mention to Dark Ascent. It can get you out of some sticky situations, and it's great for baiting out abilities. You can go detonate if you're really feeling it, but as a mage in light, it's pretty risky. Are you not entertained? The blues bask in the light of glory! Thanks for watching. Like and comment if you wish. I'll see you in a turn.